And at some point, Mr. Spacey reaches behind himself and into the front of uh, Mr. pants. A state trooper testifying about the incident where Kevin Spacey allegedly assaulted a teenager inside an Nantucket restaurant. That trooper testified at a hearing this month where a clerk magistrate decided Spacey should face criminal charges. We've also learned that the alleged crime might have been recorded. WBZ's Lisa Greshi is here with the latest. Lisa. Liam, Katie, Kevin Spacey's accuser says he took that Snapchat video during the assault. It's a revelation made during a courtroom hearing as the actor's lawyers tried to prove their there wasn't enough evidence to charge him. The then 18-year-old says he met Spacey at Nantucket's club car restaurant on the night of July 7, 2016. He told trooper Gerald Donovan what started with drinks and an autograph ended with Spacey groping him. Mr. Spacey is standing in, in front of and at some point Mr. Spacey reaches behind himself and into the front of um, Pants. Spacey's accuser, the son of former Boston News anchor Heather Unruh, told police he took out his cell phone during the alleged assault, making a Snapchat video as well as texting his girlfriend. At some point, uh, texts his girlfriend or sends, you know, electronic message to his girlfriend that he thinks Kevin Spacey is trying to rape him. The teen said he believed that the touching went on for at least three minutes. The defense questioned why he didn't say anything or do more to get away. That's an incredibly long time to have a strange man's hands in your pants. Spacey's attorney also asking Trooper Donovan how much the accuser was drinking that night. He may have been so drunk that he was blackout drunk, but he didn't black out at the, the club car. He may have blacked out once he got home. That's correct. It's very, very typical in a sexual assault case, particularly to challenge the credibility of the victim or to say the victim should have and could have done more to thwart the attack and or get themselves out of the situation. But legal analyst Jennifer Roman says the prosecution is also armed with evidence not usually seen in sexual assault cases. The fact that there is that Snapchat video, the fact that we do have him simultaneously texting with the girlfriend, and then the, the call to his sister where she can at least talk about about his state of mind and how he sounded. As for Spacey, he is set to be arraigned on January 7th. Liam? Lisa Greshi live in studio. Thank you.